های استاد هلا استاد می سکوچه Me escucha. Me escucha, Oscar. Me escuchan suave. Hola, Dani. Hola, Dani, ¿me escucha? ¿Usted no tiene micrófono ahora? No. <ríe> Vaya. Vamos a ver, Anita, hola. Ok, a ver, Mariano, hola, Mariano, Anita, Carla, necesito saber si me escuchan. Pero... Hola, teacher. ¿Cómo le conviene? Hello, teacher. Hola, ¿me escuchan? Sí, el micrófono no funcionaba, nos habíamos decidido a todos. No sé por qué, por qué no. O sea, como a mí me entran automáticamente, no sé. Pero ya me escuchan y pueden encender sus micrófonos todos. Rafael, ¿usted me escucha? Yes, yeah, teacher, clear. Excelente. Domingo, ¿y you? Anita, mire ahora. Domingo, mire ahora. Yes, teacher. No, no, no podía activar el micrófono. Hoy sí, ya, teacher. Ay, Dios mío. Uh -huh. Ok. Daniel, usted sí ya puede, ¿verdad? Ok, Mariano. A 
A ver, all right, ok, guys, so creo que ya estamos. No sé qué ha pasado porque cuando a mí me ingresan, ingreso. Daniel, a ver, Daniel, ¿qué le pasó ahora otra vez? <ríe> Mire ahora. Uh, no, hoy sí. Sí, hoy sí, Dani. Ok, solo que en la cámara no sé qué pasó. Si no se ha ido, Mingo. Eh, ahí está. Hoy sí. eh, se bloquea el micrófono y cuando lo quiero activar. Vea que si, se, si, uno, se si, uno, si uno lo silencia, ajá, exacto. Se bloquea, Porque, si lo silencia. Si lo silencia. Eh, quizás actualización, quizás es. A ver. Puede ser. Alguna... No me han dicho. Bueno, igual, me escriben si quieren hablar de repente y eh, no, no pueden deshabilitar el micrófono o uh, habilitarlo, me, me escriben y se los permito aquí. I don't know how. Ok. okay. I am at my, at my, at my workplace. I, I stay in a, in a empty office. Ok, very good. <laughs> ¿Qué pasó, okay. Domingo? Mire ahora, Domingo. Se bloquea, teacher, entonces no lo puedo, si lo, lo bloqueo, se va a estar sí, bloqueando. Mejor así. De todas maneras, ahí donde usted está no hay, no hay interferencia, ¿verdad? Mm, ah, no, de repente. A ver, Vanessa, ¿usted puede activar su micrófono? <risa> Mire ahora, Vane. Teacher. Vi que la, en la entrevedad se estaba es que, malo es que, también. Es que da un mensaje, hola, dicho, perdón. Es que da un mensaje y dice que el, el anfitrión le quita el silenciado, pero si uno la paga, como dice Domingo, ya no le deja hablar. Ahí mandé, ahí mandé, ahí mandé el mensaje a WhatsApp, teacher. Me tomé una captura de pantalla, el mensaje que, que me ponía, que, que no podía, que el anfitrión no permitía que ah, no los eso, participantes sabe. activaran su micrófono, que sí. Uh, no estará en automático. El, ah, el alguna configuración quizás le ha, le ha cambiado. Pues. Ah, y la otra es que cuando entré, entré el, el enlace me pareció diferente. Ah, de veras. Sí, vi que no era el código, sino que era solo decía, no me fijé, pero no era, no era. Y le di ahí por... por por curiosidad y, aparecí, y, y entré, pero me pareció raro el, el enlace, como sí. lo de queda guardado en el, en el Zoom, pero pues me parece bien raro. Ok, Vane, hoy otra vez que apagó el micrófono ya le aparece que no la dejo, ¿verdad? <ríe> y mire ahora. Hoy sí. Ajá, tiene que darle a usted para que ahí le mande lo que, lo que da el mensaje. Sí, igual creo que es lo que me mandó. Ajá, si uno se silencia y no puede hablar. No sé qué me estás diciendo. Ah, usted le debe permitir. Me está familiarizado con el lenguaje, pero ¿qué tiene que ver eso? All right, ok. Igual, eh, no sé, realmente no he hecho yo nada más que entrar. Eh, puede ser que sea una actualización y no lo sé. Entonces, téngame paciencia ahí, solo me hace la seña y si usted quiere participar, si usted no está con, si usted no está así como con mucha bulla, pues mantenga su micrófono abierto, no hay problema. Si de repente hay como mucha interferencia, lo puede cerrar y ya me avisa con señas o por el chat. Lo que pasa es que al volver a entrar, voy a cortar el video, Oscar, y entonces... Eh, es un gran problema cortarlo y volver a hacerlo. All right, mejor quedémonos así y vamos. Solo me, solo me acuerda, o solo me hacen así como ceñita. <ríe> y yo lo activo, ¿de acuerdo? Si ahora no, what's going on? All right, all right, guys. Ha sido así como empezar medio, medio así. <ríe> all right, that's okay. Let's, let's start then, guys, with the book. All right, so last week we finished this, how to use indirect questions, information questions. All right, eso lo terminamos con las indirect questions, then yes, no, and information questions. Luego, 
Tenemos este number, the drawings, in the correct order to assemble all, all the parts of a bicycle. All right, here, what would be picture number one? ¿Cuál sería la primera cosa que hay que hacer? Daniel, what do you think? Ya para mandarlo. Number one is the frame. Number one is the frame? Okay. Yes. Okay, what about number two? Vane, what do you say? The saddle? Oh, maybe the saddle? All right, okay. What about number three? Domingo, what do you say? What is number three? Domingo? Es, um, number three, si me acuerdo. Y handler bar. Handler bar. Handlebars, okay. Handlebar. Yeah, okay, what about four? What would be number four, guys, the rest of you? What do you guys think? The wheels and the last is the pedals. Yeah, the number six is shipping. This is the finish. Yeah, that's the last. Yes. Yeah, all right. Okay. Okay, what about number five? Walter, yes, Anita, y Mar, 
<coughs> All right, guys. Vamos a descifrar lo que está aquí pasando. All right. Sí, yo sé que ahí está Anita, Vicky, yes, Jorgito, ok. Present teacher, yo sí puedo hablar. O sea, sí puedes, ¿eh? Sí. All right. Ok. Entonces, vamos a ver esto. Vámonos al, al, al libro de regreso. We are here, page 32. Eh, unit 3, I will be able to. All right. So, here it says. Okay. Uh, Rafael, me ayuda con I will be able to. <coughs> ok. Identify a specific the time in a passage related to calculating cost of a product. Okay. Give me a second, guys. Very good. A ver, uh, Vanessa Noemi, can you read number one? Let's start. Let's start. Do you agree that? Regardless of the size of a business, announcing cost is essential to make profit. Have you ever calculated the price of a product? Can you name three fixed expenses to calculate the cost of a product? Okay. Thank you, Vani. Regardless of the size, of a business, analyzing cost is essential to make profit. Have you ever calculated the price of a product? Can you name three fixed expenses to calculate the cost of a product? Eso lo vamos a ver después. Vamos a ver esto acá. Number two, read the following text featuring tips on how to analyze the cost of a product. Then answer the questions below. Vamos a hacer lo siguiente. Yo espero que cuando se vayan a los grupos no les dé problema el audio y si sí si me avisan y vemos qué hacemos. <clears throat> La idea es, let's go to the groups. Vamos a leer esto. Necesito que subrayen o apunten vocabulario that you don't know or you don't know how to pronounce. Terminan de leer esto and then you answer these five questions. Cuando terminen, me avisan por WhatsApp. De acuerdo. All right, okay, voy a dejar de compartir aquí. Let's go, los que no pueden. Eh, voy, Anita. Yeah, I know. I don't know what's going on, really. Los que no pueden eh, estar trabajando en grupo ahorita, no se preocupe. All right, necesito, cuando lleguen a sus grupos, miren si pueden hablar. All right, eh, con sus compañeros, de acuerdo. Y si no, ya vamos a ver qué hacemos. Let's see. I don't know what's going on today. It's Monday, that's the problem. <laughs> A ver, Anita, Debbie, Chamba, Carla, Leti, Mariano, Kevin y Oscar. ¿No pueden ingresar a sus grupos ahorita? No, no teacher, yo ahorita no puedo. Vaya, ok. Debbie, hágame un favor. Ahorita ya no le da problema encender y apagar micrófono. Eh, fíjense que me... Me sale una cosa que dice reactivar audio y cuando lo puse me dio audio, pero 
de repente me lo quitó, o sea, no sé, bien raro. Y ahorita si lo apaga y lo vuelve a encender, ¿le aparece algo? Voy a probar. No, ahorita ya pude, ya lo puedo activar y desactivar. Ok, very good. Me avisan igual. Alguien me escribió. Oye, Anita, no se preocupe, está bien. Chamba, ¿usted puede participar en grupos ahorita? No, ahorita no, mis. Voy bueno. manejando. No se preocupe, pero si no hay problema, no tiene problema con activar su micrófono, Chamba. Eh, solo una vez me salió. Ah, perfecto. De que okay. Okay. El audio. Yo, yo creo que ya pude <ríe> activárselo nuevamente. No sé qué hubiera pasado. A ver, that's okay. Eh, Kevin, hi, Kevin. Hi, Ever. Hi, Ever. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Ya están sus compañeritos leyendo eh, la página 32, ejercicio 2. Ok. ¿Individual? No, no hace mucho se fueron. Eh, lo que pasa es que los que están acá tienen, no pueden ahorita ingresar. Entonces... No. Lo voy a mandar, permítame, lo voy a mandar a un grupo, Ever, ¿de acuerdo? Ok, de acuerdo, teacher. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Hola, Roberto. Hello. Hi. Can you participate right now, Roberto, or not really? No, teacher. I'm, I'm driving. Okay. No se preocupe. That's okay, Roberto. Ok, ok. Thank you.
चलो वो ये भी यार अकाबी Hi Oscar, can you join a group right now or not right now? Yes. Okay, Oscar. Ya funciona. Ya toqué algo por ahí, pero bien raro porque cuando entré nunca tocó nada. Okay, perfecto. All right, ahorita lo mando. Lo voy a mandar donde. No puedo, no puedo, no puedo. Ah, no Estoy... puedo. Sí, sí. Después, porfa.
All right, guys. Is the problem of the microphone solved? Yes, pueden apagar sus micrófonos y volverlos a encender sin ningún problema. Yes, teacher. Mm, voy a, voy a, yes, voy a teacher. Yes. Voy a All right. Yes, Thank you. Very good. Okay, so. Oh, yes, teacher. Yes, ya funciona. Okay. So just give me a second here, guys. I just need to open this up. Okay. How to say Moodle in English? Hmm? Excuse me? How to say Moodle? How to say Moodle in English? Mute. Yes, you are. You guys were muted. <laughs> All right. A person muted. Yes. All right. Let's see. Uh, Daniel, vamos a ver. Can you please read the first two lines? And oh, they said there are three. There are three important factors business needs to consider when pricing a product. The cost of production, the market demand for the product, and the desired market by the business. Excellent, very good. Walter, continue reading donde dice the cost production hasta donde dice materials. Okay. The cost of production fixed um, variable cost determine the selling price of the business. First product. Fixed costs include items such as the rent for your office or manufacturing space. Variable costs include items that change with your sales volume, like labels and materials. All right, very good, Rafael. Continue in pricing. Hasta donde dice costs. Rafael? I'm here, teacher. Okay, donde dice in pricing your product hasta donde dice cost, please. Cost, the price is cut. Sí, hasta yo hasta iba a leer donde di, empieza donde dice in pricing your product. All right. Hasta costs. All right, teacher. In pricing your product, first determine how much of your price and variable. And variable cost going to production. Each unit of your product also out. It may be a difficult calculation and sample formula to help you is to add to total total five cost. Okay, very good. Let's see. Um, Jose, can you teacher. Okay, donde dice then hasta el final de ese párrafo, hasta donde dice then hasta unit. Okay, then you divide the, the total, total be your estimate, total sales, you will have how then your cost of the production per unit. Excellent, thank you. All right, let's see. We have here, Ever, can you read right now? Yes, teacher. All right, Ever, can you read on this and now as on this product? Okay. Now you have to sell the product for at least this amount in order to cover the cost of production. Market demand for a product or service. Market demand for a product or a service is the second factor that a business owner should consider when pricing a product. Okay, thank you. Bismar continued on this at the law as the production. Uh, the law of demand is the is a, is that there is an inverse relate 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 relationship mm -hmm. relationship with between demand and price as a price fall demand rise and a price rise demand falls demand for your product is just as important 
to consider when setting a price as the cost of production. Excellent, thank you. Uh, Carla, don, Carla Vanessa, they said there is a stuff for a product. Okay, there is usually a positive or direct relationship between consumer income and demand. As a consumer's income goes up, so does demand for a product. Excellent, all right. A ver, Domingo, donde, obviamente el título hasta donde dice price. Uh, determining determining uh, the markup of a product, regardless of the type of small business mark, market is the amount you earn to the cost of your product to determine, determine the selling price. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Let's see, Vanessa Noemi, can you read? <clears throat> Price. The markup percentage is determined by the amount of your planet profit, the type of the product or service you are selling, how rapidly the product sells, and the amount of service performed by the seller. Okay, thank you. All right, guys, so here we have this um, article. All right, it's talking about the cost of a product and how to analyze it, all right? Now, antes de irnos a ver las preguntas, I wanna read it to you. So you take notes of the pronunciation. There are three important factors businesses need to consider when pricing a product. The cost of production, the market demand for the product, and a desired markup by the business. Number one, the cost of production. Fixed and variable costs determine the selling price of a business firm's product. Fixed costs include items such as the rent for your office or manufacturing space. Variable costs include items that change with your sales volume like labor and materials. In pricing your product, first determine how much of your fixed and variable costs go into producing each unit of your product. Although it may be a difficult calculation, a simple formula to help you is to add your total fixed costs to your total variable costs. Then you divide the total by your estimated total sales. You will have then your cost of production per unit. Now you have to sell the product for at least this amount in order to cover the cost of production. Market demand for a product or service. Market demand for a product or a service is the second factor that a business owner should consider when pricing a product. The law of demand is that there is an inverse relationship between demand and price. As prices fall, demand rises, and as prices rise, demand falls. Demand for your products is just as important to consider when setting a price as the cost of production. There is usually a positive or direct relationship between consumer income and demand. As a consumer's income goes up, so does demand for a product. Determining the markup of a product. Regardless of the type of a small business, markup is the amount you add to the cost of your product to determine the selling price. The markup percentage is determined by the amount of your plant profit, the type of the product or service you're selling, how rapidly the product sells, and the amount of service performed by the seller. 
All right, so that is the reading of this um, article about the cost of a product. Now, let's see here. Do you have any questions about the vocabulary, pronunciation or meaning? Anybody? Teacher, and um, when say in the in the second line, the market demand for product and the desire markup by the business. Uh, desire markup viene siendo como la ganancia determinada. Sí, como el margen deseado. Margen deseado, ¿verdad? Okay. Es, markup uh -huh. es margen y desire es el, de, el, 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 en este caso, el, el um, margen deseado por el okay. negocio. Eh, Okay, and the next line, um, this uh, the selling price of a business first product. Es un producto del negocio, algo así. Okay. De la firma, el negocio. Sí, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, right. thank, Very you. Good. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Anybody else with any other word from this article? No, everybody else. Okay? Excuse me. Regardless. Ah, regardless is sin importar. Regardless. Regardless. Regardless, Trini. Yes. Okay. Excellent, Trini. Thank you. Anybody else? Ever? No, no questions about the vocabulary. Oscar. In the last. Yes. The last part. The prof profit, playing it for profit. Does it that? Or is it? For the last uh, paragraph? Paragraph for the determining the market of the product for the second line, the second line, to in the end, the second line of your playing it ah. profit. Okay, profit is ganancia. Profit. profit. Okay. Yes, he planned, o sea, su ganancia planeada, ¿verdad? Al final, of your plant, la, la, la ganancia que usted ha planeado tener. All right, planned profit. All right, thank you, Ever. Anybody else? Creo que había otro compañero que iba a preguntar al mismo tiempo que Ever. I just don't know who. Me, teacher. Okay. Uh, al, also, also, it may be a difficult calculation. Uh, where is it? On second paragraph. The second paragraph. Although es aunque pueda ser una una un cálculo difícil. I just don't, I cannot find it. Very okay. Although I think. Es a l t h o u g. H. Sí. Yeah, although, uh -huh. aunque. Aunque, sin embargo, puede ser cualquiera de esas dos. All right, thank you, Bismar. Any other? The pronunciation, the pronunciation, the pronunciation, the relationship or? Así, or, muy bien, Domingo, relationship. Relationship, yeah. okay. Esa relación, ya sea relación entre, en este caso, eh, demanda y por decir precio o una relación que usted tiene con su familia, etc. Right? It's a relationship. Mm -hmm. All right. I don't think there's anything else. Please, 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 acuérdese los, de los ED endings. No decimos fixed, decimos fixed. All right. No decimos planet, decimos planned, performed. All right, eso tenemos que tener cuidado cuando estamos leyendo, please. All right, let's see. Let's go up here. It says number one. Um, let's see, someone else that can answer. Uh, the, the rest of you guys were like not there. Uh -huh. All right. Dani, a ver, Dani, you help me out here, Dani. What is number one? What are the most important factors to consider when setting a price for a product? 
Okay, um, for me, I have two factors in the cost of production mm -hmm. and the markup of a product. Okay, all right. Anybody else? Anybody else has the answer for that one, for that number one? Any other group? Market demand for um, product or service. Okay, all right. Number two, what are some examples of fixed costs? What are some examples of fixed costs that they mention here in the article? The rent for your office. Excellent, what else, Trini? Any other? Don't say in the in the article, but is the payroll of the employee? Yeah. Also, all right. Very good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it doesn't mention. I mean, here in the article, they just mentioned the one that Trini gave us. But yeah, Daniel, very good. Okay. What are uh, what are examples of variable costs? Number two, same footage. No, number three. What are examples of variable uh, costs? Rubber in materials. Uh, let me see variable costs we have here. Yeah. Um, yeah, labor and materials could be some examples according to the article. We have that. All right, what about number four? How does market demand affect the pricing of your product? Anybody with number four? Vismar, do you have that answer? No, it's here. Okay, Ever, do you have the answer for number four? No, teacher, we didn't. Oh, you didn't get to that one. As price fall, demand rise, and as price rise, demand fall. Yes, all right. So as prices fall. As prices. Yes. Okay. As prices fall, demand, demand. Say, demand rises. Demand. Um, as price rise, as it rises, right? the demand falls. Yes, Domingo. As prices fall, demand rises, and as prices rise, demand falls, all right? And the last one, what variables influence to determine the markup percentage? The amount of planner, planner profit. The amount of planned uh, planned profit, yes, planned. The tie of the product or service. Okay. All right. Very good. Thank you. All right. Excellent, guys. So we finished this um this topic about the cost of a product. Okay. Now let's see here. We are going to start officially today. We'll begin unit number four. All right. So we're going to begin with this right now. But I'm just going to take the second attendance. Hoy sí ya los, la mayoría me puede contestar porque no tenemos el problema anterior. Just give me a second. Come on, guys. Abner Eli Fuentes Flores. Adela Trinidad González Consuegra. Present. Claudia Guadalupe Arias de Gómez. Daniel Antonio Luna. Present teacher. Domingo Alexander González. Present teacher. Ever de Jesús Candrae Montano. Present. Alfredo Argueta Flores. Present teacher. 
José Roberto Martínez Bernabé. Present teacher. Carla Benacir Lara González. Carla Michelle Vizuela Portillo. Present teacher. Carla Vanessa Vázquez de Ayala. Present. Kevin Esteban Mengíbar Merino. Leticia Guadalupe García de Miranda. Present teacher. Y Mariano José Paca Santa María. Present teacher. Oscar Arnulfo Villatoro Herrera. Present. Ah, oh, let's see. Rafael Ernesto Hernández Sandoval. Present teacher. Salvador Augusto Sorto Rivas. Present, Miss. Thank you, Vanessa Nani Reyes Lemus. Walter Omar Castaneda Perlera. Ana María. Present. Thank you, Ana María Palacios Araujo. Vicky Dinora Gutiérrez de Durán. Present teacher. Thank you, Bismar Ulises Martínez Ortiz. Present. And David Jasmine Giron Ramirez. Present teacher. Excellent, very nice. Okay, so let's continue with what we have here then. Let's go here on this page. I will be able to describe risks and hazards at my workplace. Number one, have you ever heard the term risk assessment? What do you think it means? Why should organizations design and be trained to apply one? All right, now let's read this first, the conversation, and then we can answer the previous questions. It says two managers are discussing about risks and hazards at different locations in their company. Read their conversation and take turns practicing it. A ver, um, Walter, can you please read Marcos? And Vicky, can you please read Josue? Okay. Okay, teacher. Marcos, let me check if the list of hazards and safety measure is complete. Measure for electric shots, for electric burn, yeah, it is. Had you finished the first draft for the office safety plan yet? Already, Marcos. Now, I all work on the plane for reporting has had an incident. Hazard. Great. Great. I work on some ideas on controlling risks because we haven't made much progress on that. All right, that all work on establishing the incident probab probabilities, the potential serving right value and risk level. That sounds good. We want to have everything ready by the end the end on the week. By the end of the week. Very good. Thank you. All right, let's see. What about all right, Carla Vanessa? Can you be Marcos and Oscar? Can you please be Josue? Okay. Okay. Let me check if the list of hazards and safety measures in complete measures of for electric shocks for electric burn. Yeah, it is. Have you finished the first draft for the office safety plan yet? Already, Marcos. Now I work on the plan for reporting hazard and incident. Great. I work and some ideas on controlling risk because we haven't made much progress on that. All right, then I work to on establishing, establishing the incident probabilities, the potential severity, price, value, and rise level. That sounds good. 
we want to have everything ready by the end of the week. All right, very good. Two more. Let's see, Daniel, can you be Marcos, please? And Ever, can you be Josue? Okay, teacher. Let me check if the list of hazard and safety measure is complete. Measure for electric shock, for electric bar. Yeah, yeah, it is. How you finish the first draft for the office safety plan yet? Already, Marcos. Now, I will work on the plan for reporting hazards and, and incidents. Great. I will work on some ideas on controlling risk because we haven't made much progress on that. All right. Then I work on establishing the incident probabilities, the potential severity, risk value, and risk level. That sounds, sounds good. We want to have everything ready by the end of the week. Excellent. Thank you. All right, so here we say, let me check if the list of hazards and safety measures is complete. Measures for electric shocks, for electric burn. Yeah, it is. Have you finished the first draft for the office safety plan yet? Already, Marcos. Now I'll work on the plan for reporting hazards and incidents. Great, I'll work on some ideas on controlling risks because we haven't made much progress on that. All right, then I'll work on establishing the incident probabilities, the potential severity, uh, severity, risk values, and risk level. That sounds good. We want to have everything ready by the end of the week. All right, now here, guys, they are talking about risks and hazards, all right, at my workplace. Do you know what risk is and do you know what hazard is? Ideas, what is that? No, uh, teacher. Oh, no, no, Debbie. Okay, what about the rest of you guys? Risks, no, son riesgos. Yes, risks and riesgos, yes. Y hazard, son peligros, pero como de inflamable. Yeah, all right, sí, puede ser. Anybody else? In my workplace, teacher, uh, we uh, we have a uh, department of hazard hazard material. Uh, hazard it's, material. It's, it's, uh -huh. it's not it's not it's not a department. It's a it's a one person who is in charge of uh, handle the handle of hazard materials. Okay. And uh, and uh, it, it was in this new company who who's in my workplace, uh, they have emphasis in the in 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 the safety about our our, our work. Okay. They they don't have don't don't have um, work don't have to como como <laughs> no quieren que que nos arriesguemos, que we have take risk. Okay. And for example, when I when I when I use the the the, the ramp, when I use the no, when I use when I use the elevator, uh, the, the the hydraulic elevator. Yes. They the the supervisor say me is one person to supervise to you ah. if you have if you have if you have any problems at, at, um, at the up, the the other the other person can work can move can move the the, the platform uh, down. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very yeah. good. Excellent, Daniel. Thank you. Anybody else? Risk or hazard? Who can explain that to me? All right, I'm going to show you this just for a second so we understand a little bit better. All right, just give me a second here. Here we have this. 
Can you see my screen? All right, hazards versus risks, all right? If you look at the meaning of hazard, le va a salir como riesgo. And if you look at the meaning of risk, le va a salir como riesgo. All right, both means riesgos, all right? But what is the difference? This is the difference. What is the difference between a hazard and a risk? All right, a ver, alguien que me ayude a leer a hazard? Alguien que me ayude a leerlo? Me teacher. Okay, go ahead. Uh, a hazard is something that can cause harm. Example? E example, ele electric Electricity? Electricity, chemicals, working, up, up a leader, noise, up a leader, noise, a cable, a body at work, stress, etc. Okay, thank you. And someone else to read risk. What is risk? Me. Yes, go ahead, Chamba. A risk is the change, high or low, that any hazard will actually. Cause, no. They cause, very good, cause. Cause somebody harm. Okay, thank you, Chamba. Thank you, Miss Mar. All right, so a hazard is something that can cause harm. Algo que puede causar daño. Example, electricity, chemicals, working up the ladder, así como decía Daniel, del uh, hydraulic lift or forklift, or uh, the noise, a keyboard, a bully at work, esa gente que hace como mucho bullying, stress, etc. Todo eso se considera hazard, algo que puede causar daño. Okay, now, what is a risk? The risk is the chance, high or low, okay, that any hazard will actually cause somebody harm. All right, entonces, si se fija ya como definición, cambia un poquito. El hazard es algo que puede causar daño y el risk es el chance, digamos, ya sea alto o bajo, de que that any hazard, que cualquier cosa que pueda dañar, will actually cause somebody harm. So it's a little bit different here, all right? Now, it says, for example, working alone, Away from your office can be a hazard. The risk of personal danger may be high. Electric cabling is a hazard. If it has is snagged on a sharp object, the exposed wiring places it in a high risk category. Aquí tenemos como la, la flechita, ¿verdad? Dice hazard, anything that can cause harm. Risk, how great the chance that someone will be harmed by the hazard. All right, entonces, esa, ahí que en ese diagrama, digamos, vemos la diferencia, quizás un poco más clara, of what is hazard and what is risk, okay? Questions about this, guys? Do you have any questions? Yes, miss. Ajá, uh, Chama. What is the meaning? Es nugget. Ah, a ver, anybody knows the meaning of a snugged? Snugged. Ajá, alguien de los eléctricos que tenemos aquí, antes teníamos más eléctrico, ¿verdad? Ajá. What is a snug? ¿Alguien sabe? Vale, un, cable, un, un cable pelado, no, cable, no, no sé, sin protección, no, no. Sí, es ¿Cuál era? Dice? Una, una sharp object. Sí, es, es como enganchado, okay. enredado o trabado mm. en un eh, objeto con punta, con filo, sharp object. All right, entonces decimos como enganchado, eh, chamba. Cuando hablamos, por ejemplo, de los, de los cables, si está como enganchado o enredado en algo así como con punta, that's not very, like, nice to see. Okay, thank right. you. Very good, thank you. And waiting to. 
Which one? Wiring. Ah, uh, wiring es como la. Ajá, uh, exposed wiring. Cuando, uh, lo que decía Daniel, los cables celados. Sin protección. Wire es cable. Y wiring, exposed wiring places, es como cuando usted tiene alguna algún cable o algo que no tiene como la protección, entonces está así como que si usted lo toca, that's gonna be not nice for you. Okay, thank you, Miss. Right, thank you. All right. Cable expuesto sería, no sería cable expuesto. Yeah. All right, en, mm -hmm. en otras palabras, si el cable está expuesto porque está peladito. <laughs> All right, I guess, and if you touch ah. it, it's burnt. All right, let's see here. Vamos a ver aquí. What we're going to do right now, just give me a second. I just want to see something here. Hold on. Deme, regáleme, regáleme un ratito. Solo quiero ver una cosa. All right, guys, we're going to go back to the groups y vamos a hacer lo siguiente. Siempre en esa misma página of the conversation that we just read. All right, on page 33, I want you to work on exercise three. Eso es lo primero que van a hacer. Discuss the following questions with a classmate. Hay que escribir las respuestas para question number one, two, and three. When you finish, I want you to watch, les acabo de pegar ahí en, aquí en el chat de Zoom, eh, dos eh, direcciones para que ustedes puedan ir y observar lo que está ahí. All right. When you finish, y basado en lo que vieron, que les pueda quedar más claro, I want you to, siempre en grupo, hablar de los hazards que ustedes en sus trabajos pueden tener. Los hazards que Domingo pueda tener eh, son diferentes a los que, por ejemplo, Trini puede tener. All right, Domingo trabaja con electricidad y, Don, y Trini trabaja con niños y niñas. All right, so it's different. Entonces, hagamos una short list of hazards at my workplace. Entonces, si por ejemplo, Domingo y Trini están trabajando juntos, Domingo le comenta cuáles podrían ser y escriben una listita de unas tres o cuatro y Trini unas tres o cuatro para cuando vengamos compartimos eso, ¿ok? Entonces, the exercise, primer, the first exercise, is page 33, exercise three. Then I want you to watch those two links that I just uh, wrote to you here. And then I want you to make a list of the hazards at your workplace, okay? Ready? Yes, no? All right, let's go then. Yes, teacher. Igual, los que no pueden ingresar o los que ya pueden ingresar me avisan para poderlos eh, unir a un grupo. All right, y los que no nos quedamos siempre por acá. Mariano, Roberto, Leti, no sé si ya pueden estar en un grupo. Oscar.
Hi, Letty. Mariano, ¿todavía no puede unirse al grupo? Ajá, y Leti tiene problemas de audio, no lo de inter, actually. No se preocupe, Roberto, that's okay, Oscar, that's fine. Hi. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you now, Leti. Ahora ya no, Leti. Se fue. Hi, Leti. Leti, no le entiendo nada. Teacher. Hola, hola, Leti. I have problem. Sí, así oigo. No se preocupe. Si gusta, se queda por aquí o gusta que la mande a un grupo. No sé qué quiere intentar.
Hi, Leti. You still have problems with your internet? Teacher, hi, Letty. Guys, did you watch the videos? Yes, teacher. Yes, all right. Yes. What, how were the videos? Were they okay? Did you understand them? Uh, yes, but yep. the second the second video is English of you know, uh, is English from United Kingdom. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Accent. It's, it's very it's very different, but it's uh, I understand. All right, very nice. Okay, so let's see, guys. So the idea here was just for you to be able to listen to them 
and realize that there are many other accents out there. All right, a ver, we had on Sala One, we had Domingo, Evan, Carlita, and Bismar. All right, so everybody I think works in a different area. So Ever, can you tell us your hazards from your job, from your workplace? Okay, my hazards, I think uh, a little electrical for, we got a, a one son specific way used to electrical for the, uh, the servers of the computer. I think, I think uh, only that teacher, let me see. The other hazard, oh, only that teacher. Okay, all right, that's okay. Domingo, in your workplace, what about you? What hazards? And my cows, teacher. Uh huh. Let me raise my the price. That, yeah, the hazards that you may encounter at the workplace. Oh, uh, okay. Um, is a uh, electric chart or oh, I electric board. Uh, I may say, uh, uh, in work is uh, a break, a break is breaking. Um, sería golpe, teacher. ¿Cómo se dice? ¿Qué? Golpe. Eh, hit. Hit. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ah. Oh. All right. Okay. Eh, oh. eh, no, I no, I don't. I don't know. <laughs> All right, that's okay. Okay. All right, that's okay. What about Bismar? I don't know if Bismar, you have any hazards from your um, job? Yes, in my workplace, um, there are some hazards. Hazard and uh, such as fall from styles. Okay. Oh, okay. Um, falling object. Okay. And contamination with chemical products. Uh -huh. um, cut, cut by machinery. All right. All right, very good. Let's see, I don't know, Carlita was with you guys or not? Was Carla Benazir with you or not? I guess not, all right. Okay, what about uh, Daniel, Jorge and Walter? Daniel, can you mention some of the hazards that you may encounter at the workplace? Okay, teacher, uh, I have a lot of <laughs> a lot of a lot of uh, a lot of hazards because I use I use a forklift. Yeah. When I use a forklift, I have a high risk. Mm -hmm. I need to stay uh, in in focus in my work, in, in because one mistake and I can cause a uh, damage on my body or, or the things uh, is around me. Okay. And when, uh, how say, how say to you, when I use the, 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 the hydraulic uh, ramp, hydraulic yeah. elevator, hydraulic ele elevator is, is a high risk for me. I mean, I mean, uh, work, uh, uh, I, I work in, in the high in the high levels. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. okay. All right. What about Jorgito? Jorgito, did you mention any? Maybe not. What about Walter? Walter, did you mention any of the hazards that you may encounter at your workplace? Um. Maybe only uh, asking for uh, a quiet. Okay. 
Because uh, when I go into my office, I work in the second floor. Oh, okay. All right, okay. Well, I guess fires and stuff like that too, right? Okay, what about Trini? Also. Yeah, Trini, were you working alone? Trini trabajó solita? ¿O logró trabajar con Ana? Okay, it's not here. All right, what about Debbie, Carla, Vanessa, and Vanessa Noemi? Were you able to work a little bit, girls? Let's see, Carla, Vanessa, can you tell me some of the hazards that you may find at your job? Okay, there is a lot of hazards. <laughs> In the production floor, uh, it can be a hazard uh, about the sewing machine. Okay, yes. That needs a needle to, to sew. And also the machine has a, a little thing that cuts. Uh-huh, all right. And, and the cut area, uh, they use a cutting machine to cut the, the fabric and the printing area, they use a uh, overheating machine yes. to, to dry the, the things that put on the t-shirt. Right, that's so, like, okay, so there so are many hazards in your, in your um, job, right, Carla? Yes. All right, yes, okay. Okay, what about um, Debbie in your, at your workplace, Debbie? Do you have any hazard? Uh, yes, teacher. Uh, for me, personally, uh, the inks, uh, the technicals say they are very strong and could make a sterile. <laughs> oh my God. Could make, make me a sterile. And... Mm, the other hand, there is the, the UV light can oh. danger my eyes. Oh my goodness, Debbie. <laughs> yes. But do you like, do you wear protection for your eyes or your body? Mm, oh, really. My body, not yet. Uh, my hands, okay. because I touch the, the, the bottles, the bottles. Yes. But, mm, no, se dice? No, no muy seguido, o sea. Not very often. Only when the, the, I change the bottles, but uh, I have a protection. Okay. Yeah. Oh my goodness, Debbie. All right. That sounds dangerous. <laughs> but the smell, uh -huh. the smell, the ink is, is very yeah. strong. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. All right. But you're not allergic to it. No. Okay. Actually, ya me acostumbre. <laughs> okay. You're used to it. Yes. Okay. Interesting. What about Carla Vanessa? Um, Carlita, what about you? Is Carla Vanessa here? Carlita? Yeah, I just told you the uh, no, hazard. I didn't tell Vanessa. Otra Vanessa. <laughs> otra Vanessa, Vanessa. Uh -huh. no. <laughs> Vanessa, no. Okay. In my workplace, some hazards um, that are uh, in, in the company that are a uh, big machine, machine, machineries. And combustible, mm -hmm, combustible materials, hazard tools, and chemical materials. Okay. And some rigs should be um, falling objects. Atrapamiento, how do you say? Like to be stuck. Mm, that. And cuts and poison. Intoxication. Yep, yep. 
All right, interesting. Wow, okay. What about Vicky, Chamba, and Michelle? Did you guys talk about any hazards at your job? Uh, well, Miss, in actual, actually, my work is very safely, mm -hmm. but the, the principal hazard for for us is the virus because a lot of people uh, without mask visit the, the store. And then the second hazard may be the wet floor. Oh. Only, only that. All right, interesting, yeah, Chamba. I think a big hazard for everybody is the virus, right? Especially when people are not really taking care of themselves. Very good. Okay, Chamba, thank you. And who, who else was with you, Tamba? Uh, was Vicky, right? Vicky and Carla Michelle. All right. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. I don't know if Vicky or Carla Michelle want to talk about their hazards at work. All right. If not, it's okay. I'm going to take attendance right now so you guys may go rest. All right. So let's see here. I'm just gonna take the last attendance. I don't know what's going on today with this. Okay, anyway, uh, Abner Eli Fuentes Flores. Adela Trinidad Gonzalez Consuegra. Claudia Guadalupe Arias de Gomez. Daniel Antonio Luna. Present teacher. Domingo Alexander González. Present teacher. Ever de Jesús Candray Montano. Present teacher. Margueta Flores. Present teacher. José Roberto Martínez Bernabé. Present teacher. Sara Benacir Lara González. Carla Michelle, thank you. Carla Michelle Virizuela Portillo. Present teacher. Yes, Carla Vanessa Vázquez de Ayala. Present. Kevin Esteban Mejibar Merino. Leticia Guadalupe García de Miranda. Mariano José Paca Santa María. Present teacher. Thank you. Okay, Oscar Arnulfo Villatoro. Present teacher. Thank you. Present. Thank you, Rafael Ernesto Hernández Sandoval. Salvador Augusto Sorto Rivas. Vanessa, Present, Miss. Thank you. Vanessa Noemi Reyes Lemos. Present. Walter Omar Castaneda Perlera. Ana Marina. Present. Thank you. Ana Marina Palacios Araujo. Vicky Dinora. Thank you, Anita. Vicky Dinora Gutiérrez de Durán. I'm your teacher. Vicky Bismar Ulises Martínez Ortiz. Present teacher. Thank you. And Debbie Jasmine Hiron Ramirez. Present teacher. All right, guys. Thank you so much for joining class today. I will see you all tomorrow. Rest. Mañana empiezo a preguntar cómo vamos con la plataforma. Tendríamos que haber terminado unidad 3 hoy en la noche. All right. Si en caso de lo terminó, super. Y igual, si no, yo mañana les recuerdo. All right. Thank you, guys. Have a good night. Bye. 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 Good Thank you.